At this point in the year, uh, my store is about to break six figures in sales. Right now I'm running at about a 30% profit and if you're someone that is looking at this and thinking, what do I have to do to get to that point? Make sure to subscribe to my channel because I upload content every single week that can help you to get there. Now in this video, I'm going to be talking about why my first store failed. And the reason why my store failed is honestly one of the biggest mistakes that I see beginners making with their own own stores. This is literally the number one store killer. And also just to make this video a little bit more valuable for you if you're starting a print on demand store, what I want to do is talk through five of the biggest mistakes that I see people making with their stores. I'll even give you real examples of all of these as well. When you're building a store, one of the biggest things you want to do is to make sure that it is not generic. And here is an example of what I'm talking about. This is uh, the product description inside of a product in the Printify print on demand app. A lot of people, when they create their designs, they literally just use this right here. If we take a look at a store like this one, uh, you can see their product description is literally word for word the exact description that Printify gave to them. And like I said, this is a really bad way to brand a store. When you are building a store, you are building a brand. You are building something that you are trying to showcase who you are. And you don't want to just use the generic description from the print on demand supplier that you are using. As we're going through these mistakes today, let me know down in the comments if any of them seem like something that you've made in the past. And if you do want more help with your store, I do have a free course. It's completely free. There's over 20 step-by-step -step videos to show you how to actually open your store. There's a link down in the description. The second mistake I see a lot of people make is making designs with this style here. This is what I commonly refer to as a stacked quote design where they're basically just taking some clip art and arranging it with a few different fonts and creating a stacked quote quote with it. You can see on this hooded blanket here that they've basically just slapped this design on it and it's a rather boring blanket. It's not really something that is tastefully done. There should be some background stuff here, maybe a border around the blanket. So that way when someone sees the blanket, it looks like something that they would actually like to own. The third mistake that I see is people start their store and they don't understand how to price their products effectively. Now, don't get me wrong. I have definitely experimented with raising my prices and there are definitely a lot of reasons to do so. You want to make sure that you are not selling yourself short, that you're not leaving money on the table. You can definitely price products at a premium price depending on what you are selling. But my biggest advice for you, if you are someone that is new to running a print on demand store would be to start your products priced low. This is going to allow you to test your stuff and try and prove your concepts at a lower price. Basically, the, the worst thing in the world would be is if you launched your store, spent a whole bunch of time and potentially money marketing it and didn't make any sales and then had to think to yourself, well, maybe I'm just priced too high and then do a whole nother experiment at a lower price. It would be much better for you to launch at a lower price if people like your stuff, they will buy and you will validate your concept and then you can raise your price to a more profitable level. If you want some tips from me on where to actually price your products, you can check out this video right here where I review my pricing strategy. Now this store right here is a prime example of the fourth thing that a lot of people don't do well and that is naming their store. Now coming up with a great domain name is something that you should definitely not overthink but you should give it some thought. This store here is called Doodle Bop's Tea Thing Shop .com, right? This is not only a little bit long, I typically like to make my store name less than 10 letters or something like that. There's just way too much going on here. Doodle Bop Tea Thing Shop .com, right? Typically, most stores that do very well have short domain names. They also choose words that make make sense together, right? This is Doodle Bop Tea Thing Shop .com. Say that five times fast and see if you can say it correctly. But when I make store names, and over the years I've had lots of different print on demand stores, like I said, the first thing is I try to make sure that they're like 10 letters or less. The second thing is I like to make sure they're easy to read. Something like this, you kind of have to look at it a couple of times to make sure that you are pronouncing it correctly. The third thing would be that I try to avoid making up any word and also changing the spelling of words. If you wanted to change like a Z to an S or something like that, that would probably be fine. But when it really comes down to it, make your 
store name, short, simple, uh, and easy to read and something that actually is legible when you are looking at it. Now our fifth thing here before I really tell you why my first store failed is something I've been talking about for a long time. This is something that whenever I make a video about uh, this subject, there are always people in the comments that uh, don't like what I'm saying or they don't believe me or they uh, whatever they just get mad right and what I'm talking about is you need to choose products that people actually want to buy what I'm talking about is avoiding things that are very saturated I'm talking about something like a t-shirt or something like a mug you can see here uh, I typed in dog mom t-shirt if we scroll through there are literally going to be probably hundreds of thousands of different designs here for dog moms on shirts and really when you really think about it they're all basically the same they have some icons and clip art with a silly quote about loving dogs and honestly at this point customers don't perceive this stuff as really valuable it doesn't get them excited they might click the like button on Facebook or Instagram or something like that but when it comes to paying like 22 or 23 dollars for a t-shirt like this I've just not really seen anybody having a lot of success with that much better option would be to choose more higher profit products that are also a lot less saturated and ones that can get people very excited if you want to see some of the products that I'm currently selling and the ones that I recommend make sure to check out this video here because I go through a bunch of them. Now, the moment that uh, you are here for, right? That's why you clicked the video uh, about why my first store failed. Now, when I first discovered print on demand, I thought it was the coolest thing ever. The idea that I could build a Shopify store and then literally sell products with without ever touching them and having a print on demand supplier uh, ship everything for me and all I had to do was design the, the product and then uh, market it. I thought that was the most amazing thing ever, right? And like a lot of people, when discovering print on demand, you start to get a bunch of ideas, right? You start to get excited about some different product options. And what I did is I went with my first thought. I decided to open a store where I was going to sell t-shirts and hoodies uh, with a whole bunch of silly quotes about being a man on them and uh, silly quotes about being a husband uh, because at the at this point I was, I was newly married. This was back in like 2016. And basically all day long, I would just come up with like really silly quotes to put on, on t-shirts because I thought they were funny. And I ended up uh, getting you know some engagement, like people, when I would market the products, they would think that they are funny, they would, they would click the like button, they would comment on them, they would tag their spouse, but no one was really buying, right? And the reason for that is because my niche was not that unique, right? My niche was essentially just being a husband, right? And that's something that is really common. There are so many husbands out there, and for the most part, it's not something that gets people like super excited, right? And of course, being a husband is is cool, right? Being a wife is cool, but it's common. It's not something that is truly going to get someone excited. And that is the biggest thing that you need to do right with print on demand. At the beginning of this video, I talked about how when you're starting your store, there is one thing that is the biggest store killer out there, and that is when people do not choose a good niche. If you don't have a good niche, you're not gonna get people interested enough to actually want to make a purchase. If you are going to do something like a husband or a wife, right, or even a mom or a dad, what you would be much better off doing is attaching a real niche to it. For example, if you're just gonna create mom stuff, why not do baseball mom, police mom, military mom, mom of a Cub Scout, things like that that are going to actually represent something that someone feels is special enough to actually make a purchase for. Like I said, if you, if you are watching this video and this is some of the, uh, maybe the first time you're hearing some of this stuff, um, this is all just based on my experience. I've been doing print on demand since 2016. I've also you know, been working with a lot of other people to help them with their stores too. And one of the biggest things I see is that people just don't choose great niches. And that's what caused my first uh, store to, to fail. And if you're someone that's currently running a store that's not doing great, and you think everything else I talked about today is fine on your store, well, maybe 
it's your niche. Maybe your niche is not strong enough and it's not actually something that people are willing to spend money on. So let me know what you think uh, down in the comments. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, uh, if you are looking for more help with print on demand, make sure to subscribe. I upload multiple videos every single week where I share uh, some of my experience with my own stores with you uh, to help you to you know crush it with your own store. So let me know down in the comments what you took away from this video and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.